We were supposed to get our hands on a 2021 Hyundai Elantra this week, but due to recent events, we can't. So instead, we're gonna do the next best thing and talk about the Elantra from a safe distance here in my kitchen. All right, let's exploit some Hyundai provided visuals. Starting with the essentials, the Hyundai Elantra is a compact sedan that competes with the Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, Mazda 3, and others. The all new seventh generation Elantra is longer, lower, lighter, and has a longer wheelbase than the previous Elantra. Of course, as you may have already noticed, Hyundai took some big swings with the Elantra styling. Here were some thoughts about the Elantra's new styling is a quarantined Lynn Woodward. Lynn, what do you think? I would call them major league swings, Micah. There's more of a sport coupe look to this compact sedan and a lot more character here. What Hyundai is calling parametric dynamics takes center stage in the front fascia. The new grille that's similar to the Sonata's sits lower, giving the front end a more aggressive, forward-leaning stance. The way the headlamps curve upward give this updated Elantra a bit of a cool and sinister look compared to its fairly humdrum predecessor. I really like the front and front three-quarter angles a lot. Architectural creases in the sheet metal appear up front beneath the headlamps and continue into the profile. This is where I'm not sure how I feel yet. I love the slope of the roofline and its overall forward-leaning positioning. But when I look at the side view, all I can see is a massive Z carved into the doors, especially on the passenger side. I am absolutely gonna reserve judgment until I see this thing in person, but as of right now, I kind of expect Zorro to be riding shotgun. Both rear and rear three-quarter angles both look exceptional to me. The wing-shaped bumper adds to its sport-like nature. The tailgates look appropriately futuristic, but without going off the overworked reservation and the horizontal connecting line that extends the width of the rear ties everything together in cohesive fashion. Kind of like the rug in my living room. Considering where it's evolved from, the Hyundai Elantra has taken major strides to visibly stand out in a shrinking category that is highly competitive. The big question now is, what do we think when we see it in person? And I really hope that happens soon, Micah. Yeah, fingers crossed. Looks aside, Hyundai has added some intriguing options to the Elantra's feature set. The Biggie, quite literally, is an available dual 10.25 inch screen setup placed under a single pane of glass Mercedes style. One screen covers infotainment duties, while the other functions as the gauge cluster. Skip that option and you'll get a standard 8 inch display. Other sweet add-ons include 64 shade ambient lighting, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and Hyundai's digital key that uses your smartphone to unlock and start the car. But only if you have an Android phone. Sorry, Apple users. Get out of here, you! If you're wondering about interior dimensions, rear seat legroom has increased by 2.3 inches, and front seat headroom has increased by 0.3 inches. Meanwhile, the trunk is a healthy 14.2 cubic feet. That's 0.2 cubic feet smaller than the previous Elantra, which you probably wouldn't have noticed unless I said something about it. Looking at safety, it's pretty solid with lane keeping assist and automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection both standard. Blind spot warning is optional, as is adaptive cruise control, though I will note that adaptive cruise comes standard on both the Honda Civic and the Toyota Corolla. As for powertrains, standard Elantras will use a two liter four cylinder engine matched to Hyundai's intelligent variable transmission. That's Hyundai speak for a CVT. Thankfully, past experience with Hyundai's IVT has been pretty positive. It's not the groaning rubbery sadness fest that we've hated in other CVTs. For 2021, Hyundai has also introduced the first Elantra Hybrid that'll combine a 1.6 liter gasoline engine, a 32 kilowatt electric motor, a 1.32 kilowatt hour lithium ion polymer battery pack beneath the rear seats, and a six speed dual clutch transmission. Hyundai claims the hybrid will return a more than 50 MPG combined fuel economy rating and a total system output of 139 horsepower. Look out. Obviously, it would have been nice to sit in or maybe even drive the 2021 Hyundai Elantra, but in the interest of safety, we can wait. In the meantime, what did Hyundai get right and what did they get wrong? Tell us about it in the comments section. We look forward to chatting with you. Oh, and if there's a different part of my house you think I should do these things with in the future, let me know. Where's the kitchen okay? Orange Bunny says hi.